get the snacks, I have water, I have my notepad because this is a very informative video. hits um, August my brain shifts from summer into autumn I think it's because I had a fashion brand I worked in the fashion industry and I know from a retailer's point of view as soon as you hit the end of July you're going into August your mind is on autumn winter you have all your autumn winter stock coming in and you are ready for boots coats knitwear and for me outfit wise the way you dress Autumn and winter just comes so much more naturally than summer and I am so ready to start adding layers and autumn pieces into my wardrobe and I thought actually the weather can be very changeable still now, you can still have really warm days and I thought it would be a really good video to do and share with you what I plan to wear over the next couple of months, what I will be wearing and mashing together from my summer outfit, my autumn outfit and merging those two capsule wardrobes together. I know last year you girls absolutely loved my autumn winter capsule wardrobe video where I explain to you how I choose pieces, how I put things together, how to just elevate your style slightly and I will be doing a whole autumn winter one coming up over the next month or so but I thought today it would be really helpful to just do a little bit of a mashup between summer and autumn and share with you how I get more out of my summer pieces and transition them into autumn. So I have a notepad, you know it's a serious video when a notepad is out. I have got all of my notes here. I also have asked you girls for some questions on my Instagram and I'll be answering those at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned for that. We have so much to go through, so many tips, so many outfits, so many hacks so let's get straight into it. For me August and September are times when you can bring your spring and summer pieces, just add layers, add different items, start adding jackets back into your wardrobe, start bringing the boots back out, the chunky trainers, and kind of find outfits that maybe you wore in summer with like sliders and flip flop and start wearing them more with things like boots and get more out of those outfits. And yeah, basically what you're gonna be seeing on my Instagram over the next two months so you can get ahead before it sells out. I talk about this a lot. If you are wanting a capsule wardrobe that you are going to mix and match, even though I'm loving colours this spring summer, even though colours is such a big trend, I think if you want it to stay classy, classic and find things that you can mix and match, you need to be sticking to those neutral colours, so black, beige, grey, white, denim, leather and then you can just mix and match, so if you have a black hoodie you can mix it with a, I don't know a grey jacket, a denim jacket, a leather jacket, you can mix and match all those colours and just still look really put together. I think there's just something very classy about an all black outfit, very minimal, kind of monochromatic outfit. And when you are going into spring summer and you're wanting to mix and match those pieces, when you have things in your wardrobes like really gorgeous little summer dresses, little black summer dresses, little white summer dresses, it is then so easy to just pull out your autumn coats, pull out your leather jacket, pull out your denim jacket and just put it over the top. A classic pair of boots and you are so good to go. So I know a lot of you like my style, I know a lot of you come from Instagram. I, I just find it very easy just to chuck things together and for it just to be an outfit. I think it's just it just comes very, very naturally to me and I'm going to show you ways that you can do it. So when it comes to this time of year, generally each year I'm generally wearing a lot of the same things. I don't very often go for trends. If you look back over my Instagram over the last, I don't know, three or four years, you would see me just repeating outfits just with little tweaks. You know, you would have seen me wearing jackets probably for the last three years and then each year they would just change maybe it'd be the print or the color or you know the material so we're talking shorts skirts dresses shirts t-shirts joggers you can change a very summery dress 
into a very, really individual autumn look. I live in shorts, I have shorts on now, and this year I have worn so many jogger shorts. You have seen me living in jogger, sh basically this outfit. Jogger shorts, a little crop, an oversized shirt, some cute jewelry. Like, this is what I've lived in in summer, so I'm gonna transition this look into autumn, and I'm just gonna add a hoodie. It is really that easy. Even on cool days in summer, I've been adding a hoodie to my jogger shorts and making it into more of like a short tracksuit. Now, even on a cooler day, I'm just gonna add a jacket over the top and then as the weather then progresses to get colder and colder, it will turn into a tracksuit, so joggers and hoodie. But this is the way you can still keep wearing shorts. I mean, in the UK, even into September, it's still warm enough to have bare legs. So where I've been wearing my jogger shorts, crop and shirt with like my Birkenstocks and granddad sandals, I'm just gonna switch that up to like trainers and socks. So it adds that little bit more warm and then layers on top. So maybe an oversized denim jacket instead of the shirt, maybe a hoodie. Just for that really casual look. When you're running around, you're doing errands, you're running around after the kids, I just absolutely love the whole jogger short trend. So I'm gonna be carrying that in to autumn with some layers. Another thing I wear so much in summer is denim shorts. So I will just be adding oversized knits instead of sandals, maybe some loafers or even some boots. For me, an oversized knitted jumper and denim combo is just such a good look. I always go to H&M, I always get them really oversized, like a size large or something. They always kind of bring them in at this time of year and they sell out really quick. So get into H&M and then you can just add them to your denim shorts wear some cute flaps, such a classic, easy look that it's just gonna go year on year on year. And then one of my all time favorite pieces in my wardrobe has to be the cycle short. And in autumn, this is an outfit I wear on repeat. Cycle shorts, oversized hoodie, jacket, trainers. Such an easy outfit to wear, like so comfy, so easy for school runs, going to the park with the kids, just going to town, going shopping, like there's so many ways you can wear them. But another thing as well is an oversized hoodie with a cycle shorts look is so flattering because cycle shorts sometimes could not be the most flattering thing. And I think I wear them more in autumn than I do in summer. In summer, they're quite hard to wear, like an oversized t-shirt is fine, but I find sometimes that's not the most flattering look. So an oversized hoodie, cycle shorts, trainers, is a fave of mine. So then I plan to transition my dresses from summer to winter. So all my summer dresses that I've been wearing all summer with ciders, with sandals, with my Birkenstocks, I'm just gonna chuck on all my oversized knits, boot, leather jackets, and just turn them into autumn pieces so easily. I also absolutely love this 90, like 2000s trend of like wearing a t-shirt underneath a dress. I think that's such an easy way to just upgrade it to autumn. You could also put a long sleeve, like um, turtleneck black bodysuit underneath. I mean, I don't wear many midi dresses, but if you are more of a midi dress person, an outfit I absolutely love, midi dress, leather jacket over the top, chunky boots, trainers, like just keep wearing those summer dresses, all those gorgeous, like midi floaty dresses that have been everywhere this year. Get some boots on and add them in. Another huge piece in my wardrobe this summer has been huge oversized shirts and you can still carry on wearing these. I did a whole video on how you can elevate your knitwear and one of the easiest ways to elevate a piece of knitwear is by wearing it layered over the top of a shirt and having the shirt popping out from underneath or if it's a long enough shirt that's more of a shirt dress, again, team it with a cute knit over the top and make it into a dress with boots and just have the shirt coming out of the bottom. It's just such an easy, wearable outfit. Also, if you're looking for some workwear, just team all these gorgeous oversized shirts, more buttoned up, you like a half tuck, some skinny jeans, some gorgeous classic flats, just such a classy look. And talking about jeans, I feel like it's time to get the jeans out again. I literally don't wear jeans at all in summer. I know a lot of people still do, but I just don't. I really don't wear them. Jeans for me are a real kind of autumn 
thing to wear. I don't really wear them a lot when I'm wearing like big oversized coats. I wear them more with like huge oversized knitwear. So when the weather's warm enough to not wear a coat and just wear like a really nice knit, layer it with a t-shirt underneath so it's a little bit more flattering if you wanted to kind of hide your bum, your hips, and then get the skinny jeans out. I don't care what anybody says, skinny jeans are not dead. I love them, I will still be wearing them this year. And um, yeah, it's definitely time to get the skinny jeans out. And if you've got some mum jeans in there as well, I'm a big fan of mum jeans too, especially a casual look, mum jeans, hoodie, t-shirt, boots, trainers, such a vibe. And like, even if you just buy one decent pair of mum jeans, one decent pair of skinny jeans, they will last you year on year on year if you look after them. And for me, you can't go wrong with Topshop denim. I just think they always fit. And then you can just update them with the knitwear, with the tops, t-shirts, different trainers, different boots. Another thing I absolutely love to wear coming into autumn is leggings. And I have quite a few pairs of leggings. You need to get the leggings that are not see-through. There is nothing worse than seeing somebody in the thinnest pair of Primark leggings and you can literally see everything through their leggings. It is not a good look and girls don't need to spend a lot of money. Some of my most, some of my best quality leggings are from H&M. Their quality is so good and you know, there is no excuse. <laughs> I think for autumn as well, a really nice outfit that I'll be wearing a lot is like a leggings, big oversized sports socks, some trainers, some new balance or something like that. And then just a sweatshirt but make sure you have a t-shirt underneath just to give it that extra layer, give it that little bit more of a flattering look. So, so wearable for autumn. So it is officially time to get the coats out. I have been in my attic upstairs, rooting through all my coats so that I can start bringing them out for autumn. I do think there is a handful of jackets that you can buy and you will just wear year on year on year. Now, first off is a leather jacket. Now, I think leather jackets at the moment really need to be oversized, really need to be big. You want that kind of like biker look. You don't want a fitted leather jacket. That's a surefire way how to make your outfit look quite dated. So leather jackets are gonna be huge again this year. You know I absolutely love my misguided one. I have worn it, I mean this January it will be coming up for two years that I've had it. I absolutely rate it. It was such a bargain for what it is. And it is just the most gorgeous fit. I did size up, I got a size 12, so it's a really big oversized fit. Fits under hoodies, fits under anything I could possibly want to lay underneath and looks amazing with everything. Cycling shorts, leggings, jeans, over dresses, like it is the most wearable little outfit. And then a denim jacket, an oversized denim jacket is just gonna look amazing over sweatshirts and leggings. Again, just one of those pieces you will wear and wear again. I really rate the Zara ones, I really rate the Topshop ones. Another staple is just a long, thin trench kind of jacket or a really like thin wool jacket going into autumn. You don't need a big thick jacket for the warmth, you just want something that you can kind of layer over the top, even belt up. It's just something I wear so, so much. So there are some ideas for you of things I'm gonna be wearing this autumn. I did have some questions, so I'm gonna answer the questions now and just run through a few of the things you girls were asking me on Instagram too. Okay, so one of the first things I got asked was about workwear and what you should wear going into autumn. Workwear to look smart casual. Now, I don't work in an office anymore, but I used to. When I ran my own business, I we had a real like smart casual look. Like I was not very often like really, really smartly dressed. And a few of the things I used to wear, especially in autumn, were dresses. So again, like using up my summer dresses, but wearing them with some boots or little flats, and even just putting a nice knit over the top. Just think about footwear. I think for workwear, if you get a couple of really nice pairs of loafers or flats, I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of them. I used to buy a lot of like my work shoes from Zara and they do amazing like flat loafers and little flats and you can get some really, really classy or a bit of a statement shoe, but a flat and you will then just be able to wear them with so, so much, with just dresses and things. Also, another amazing outfit that I used to wear all the time for work would be just like an oversized shirt like this into a really nice pair of skinny jeans and then some flat shoes. Like it's just always gonna work, it's always gonna look classic. You're gonna be comfortable, but still smart enough. Just make sure you get a really nice shirt and make sure it's really nice and oversized and then you can even like button it up, but 
have it a bit off one shoulder and some nice jewelry and do your hair nice and it's always just gonna it's just always gonna work that was one of the things i used to wear a lot for work another question i got was where do i start when i'm planning planning an outfit now quite often for me because it's my job and it is my job to put outfits together and just share my love of fashion with you all. I will often, like I spend a lot of time browsing websites and looking on certain places and I like to find things that are individual, but not too trendy, quite classic. Find out what you feel good in. So have a look in your wardrobe and think about the pieces that you really, really love. For example, for me, dresses wise, I don't feel amazing in a tight midi dress. I don't feel amazing in like a floaty midi dress. I'm only five foot four and it kind of drowns me. But put me in a shorter dress, like a loose, floaty, girly, shorter dress, and I feel really comfortable. So say I'm browsing on H&M and I see a gorgeous dress and I think I love that dress, it would look so nice. As you build up your accessories and your shoes and you're really thinking about having like pieces that cross over to different outfits, nothing too trendy not just buying cheap fast fashion all the time but looking at those like pieces that you know are going to cross over so like nude tan beige kind of shoes some really nice belts things like that i will then in my head think yeah that will go with that that will go with that and i just try different things on and just see what works and see what i feel comfortable in that's usually where it starts so i will then like find a really nice dress and think right it will go with these shoes i've got all these shoes and Quite often I'll try like four or five pairs of shoes on before I am set on the outfit. I think sometimes you've just got to try things and then after a while you find outfits that you know you like and feel good in and confident in and then you just adapt it from different one, from one outfit to the next. Okay, another question I've got is what shoes to wear with outfits on rainy days without looking scruffy? For me, I would say just invest in a pair of Doc Martin boots. I wish I'd bought mine sooner. I just think they go with everything. You can put them with like a dress and tights, or leggings, or jeans, or leather pants, long coats, short coats, like they just go with everything. And I think if you have a really nice pair of Doc Martin boots, they just bridge that gap between casual and practical, but also look really, really nice. And I love them with a little dress and tights combo. They're just a a really I just think they're such an essential for everybody to have like autumn winter the ones that I've got are the platform ones and I think they just look a little bit more a little bit more cool than like the the thinner ones um I had the like black painted ones and they still look brand new and I've worn them so much for like the last two years so yeah I hope you enjoyed that I will do another video where I just basically answer all your your fashion questions because I've got so so many so I will do a little fashion question and answer we'll do a whole video on that soon but I hope you found this helpful I will link loads of summer to autumn essentials in the description box and I will also link the autumn styling video I did from last year because there is so much information in there for putting together an autumn capsule wardrobe. So as always, I love you all girls so much and I'll see you soon. Bye!